everybody. Welcome into Kim's Craft Time. I thank you so much for stopping by today. Today I'm going to be making um, a coaster box. A dear, dear friend of mine asked me to make some coaster boxes for some clients of hers that she's going to be giving them as gifts. And so I told her I would be happy to do that for her. And the coaster box is this right here. Now, it, the paper I'm going to be using is going to be a little bit different because she wanted two done like this. And then the coasters fit right down in there. In fact, here are the coasters that she um, selected. So see, they just fit perfectly right down in there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my process for making the little coaster box. Hopefully, if you need to make a coaster box, you'll be able to do so after watching this. Okay, so what you're going to need to do that is you're going to need two um, pieces of chipboard cut at 4 and 3 eighths by 4 and 3 eighths. You'll need one piece of chipboard cut at 3 7 eighths by 3 7 eighths. And then you will need four pieces of chipboard cut at 4 and 1 and a half. Okay, so I'm going to put all this aside for the moment. Now, before I got on camera, I was trying to figure out how I wanted to do this, and I cut the paper because I was thinking I was going to do it well like this but then I decided I really don't want the stripes going this way I think it'd be prettier if the stripes were up and down instead of long so that's why one page is going to look shorter than the other but that's okay okay so I do need to join these two pages together so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um, my tape and join them together real quickly so that I can show you how to do this. Basically you're going to just bring it all the way to the edge as close to the edge as you could possibly get it through the whole length of the 12 by 12 sheet. Ooh, that one did not go all the way to the edge, so let's work on that a little bit more. There we go. Now with the the little gray box that, uh, that I did for her, um, it was fairly easy because I didn't really have to pay attention to direction. On this one, I'm going to have to pay attention two directions so y'all cross your fingers that I <laughs> I don't get this mixed up all right let me rub this tape down really good burnish it down so that we can be sure that the tape stays and then I'm just going to take my pokey tool and pull the strip up and off and then I'm going to join these two together to about right, right there. And with this paper, man, you won't even be able to see the seam. I was a little nervous about this paper at first, but now not so much. I think I think it's going to be nice. So you can't even see that seam. Okay. Now that I've got it on both sides, burnished down really well. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the four one 
or four and a half by one and a half. And I'm going to, I'm going to flip this over so you can see what I'm doing. Let me move this down. Okay, I'm going to put them here, leaving a little bit of space at this end right here in my end camera. Let me see if I can move this down a little bit further. There we go. That's better. Okay, right here, I'm going to leave just a little bit of space, and you'll understand why I'm doing that in just a moment. And I'm going to, to lay them out like this. Well, where's my fourth piece? Oh, there it is. Anyway, I'm going to lay them out like this, <clears throat> all the way to the edge. The reason why is because when I go to put it to the bottom, the raw edge will glue better if it's raw. So I'm going to do that, and then we'll be right back. Okay, so now I have the tape all on them. So I'm going to bring this up here so that I can show you how I line these up. Again, like I said, I'm going to leave just a little bit here, and you'll understand why shortly. Okay? So just get it all the way to the edge. All right. Then we're going to take and bring this up this way. And the reason why I'm doing this is so that when I go to bend it, to make the square for the box, it will go up without any resistance. That's why I do that. See, and it leaves the perfect amount of space between them. And I do that all the way down for all four of these. I just make sure that I have that down good. And I will burnish them down when I'm done with this process right here. All right, and then for the last one, again, I'm going to bring it up this way. There we go. All right, so now I'm going to burnish them down really good. Move it down so we see what I'm doing. I'm going to burnish them down really, really good all the way down the page here. Okay. So now that I've got it burnished, what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this page this way. And I'm just going to cut this off right at the edge here. I'm going to use my finger blade to do that. It doesn't really matter if it's not completely straight. There we go. And then move this aside and out of the way. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put tape along all four of these. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it over this way. Okay, that will still leave that raw edge right there. Okay, so... I'll lay down one piece of tape the way that I'm going to do it, and then I will turn off the camera and be right back once they're all down. But I will do one right now just so you can see what I'm, what I'm doing. See, I'm just lining it up all the way to the edge, as close to the edge as I can get it. And I'm going to do this all the way down. Okay. Make sure I'm still in screen. Go. Okay. So just like that, I'm going to do uh, put tape on the back. Once that's done, I'll be right back. Okay, already got the tape down. I've started pulling it up. And so I will just simply pull it off like that. Oops, looks like I've got a little bit 
that decided it wanted to try to stay behind. But we ain't going to let it. I'm going to get it up because I'm afraid it'll make it look bumpy or something. Okay, so I got that up. Now, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this oh, right here and just fold it up. Up and over. Try to get it as tight as I possibly can. And then just layer down. Just like that. And burnish it. Be sure to burnish on the edges like right here too. Just to make sure it all stays real nice. Alright, and then I like to flip it over and burnish on this side too. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my finger blade and I'm going to cut this off. Just like this. All the way down to the edge. Set it aside because I will be needing it again in a little bit. Okay, so now the important thing is, is I got to figure out on which side. I don't think it really matters. But on which side I want this because what I've got to do is cut away one of those like that. So I don't need it on both. So what I like to do is fold this back like that. I'm sorry y'all it got caught up on the camera and anyway put that down take my finger well I'm not holding my finger blade right finger blade like this and just cut along this edge cutting that off just like that okay so now what I'm going to do I'm going to take this right here and just fold it over and bring it up. And come find the next where they're joined and fold it over and bring it up. Just like this. So now what I've got to do is first I just need to make sure that I I work these but be very very careful because we do not want the paper to crack. Unfortunately, that is a very real thing, and we don't want that to happen. So, all right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my art glitter glue and just put some glue down on this little flap. I even like to kind of spread it around so I can make sure it gets all the way to the edges. And then take and put this together, making sure that this is lined up on the on the top. And that's really super, super important because you don't want it to not be lined up for sure. Okay. You can even lay it down. All right. So there's that part of it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the um, four and three eighths by four and three eighths, and we're going to take a piece of this, and I'm going to put the uh, tape or glue and put it down just like that, and then cut that out. I'm going to put the tape on it, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I just wanted to show you after I tape it, this is what it looks like. 
and uh, then I just simply pull the tape off like this to, um, of course, remove all of the paper backing so that I can get this glued down. Okay, so now I have all of the backing off. So I'm going to take and put this down, burnish it down really good so that it will stick really, 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 really well. Okay, and then I'm going to just take my finger blade and just cut straight across this way. Set that piece aside. And I'm going to do the same thing right here. Do what I just tried to do. Put that aside. <clears throat> now I'm going to take and cut my uh, corners so that I can miter them. I don't know if you remember me telling you before, but if uh, you when you go to miter, it's really important that you're careful not to get too close right here on this corner so in other words you want to leave just a little bit of space probably about probably about the width of my tool my pokey tool here so that it'll cover the edge of your chipboard Okay, so let's get those cut. Okay. Actually, I think I'm probably leaving just a little more, but that's okay. Look at that one, I left a lot more. I need to cut that one down a little more. Okay. Now I've got those cut down. Now what I like to do is just simply fold them over like this just to kind of get them used to being folded so that there won't be any chance for the paper to, to uh, crack because some papers will crack and you don't want that. Alright, so then I'm just going to take my glue just like this along the edges. Up that and then I'm going to just take it like this and just fold it over make sure that it's gets glued down really 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 well take out my bone folder here and just burnish it down real good okay I think that's caught pretty good so now let's go to the opposite side and we're going to glue that down as well and then I'll show you how to fix those those corners <clears throat> so that they will lay right. And then I'm just going to fold this down right here. Just like that. And again, just burnish it. Push that glue out. And that makes it stick down really, really good. Okay, so now what you do, you want to take your finger and kind of poke like right here, just to kind of pull that corner in, just, just enough to where you're covering the corner right there. Alright, and you're going to do the same thing on both sides. Just make sure that it's folded in just enough to cover those edges. And then you're going to glue, put, add your glue. Just like that. <clears throat> and then just as we've done already, and take and fold it over. And I don't know if you can see that, but look there. That is a perfect, right here, <laughs> a perfect edge. 
it's not too pointy it looks good on that side too see on that side all right so now let's burnish that down before we forget to burnish it down we don't want to do that because we want to drag that glue all the way to the edge so that it'll stuck, stick down really well, really well. I'm going to do the same thing for this side. I'm going to fold these in. Just like that. And glue it down. <clears throat> it doesn't matter that um, that's crooked and that this side's bigger than that side or longer or whatever that makes no difference whatsoever because that is going to be covered up doesn't even matter that that just tore again that's going to be covered up so I'm going to take this paper right here and I'm going to measure it up, leaving a, oh, I don't know, about between a sixteenth and a quarter of an inch all the way around. I'm going to measure that out and cut it out, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I've got this measured out, and I don't know if I'm going to lift this up so that y'all can see um, that right there all the way around. Okay, so now I'm just going to glue it down just by going this way right here and right here. I am trying to get it close to the edge, but it doesn't matter if it's not super duper close because I'm going to burnish it down and pull that glue out. Alright, so let's just go really nearly right here, put a little more on that edge. I don't think I got close enough. <clears throat> get that glue off my mat. Alright, so bring this over here and lay it down. With art glitter glue, you do have to work kind of fast because you don't want, you, you know, you want to be able to work with it to get it exactly where you want it. Okay, so I think I'm happy with that. So burnish it down. So I got a little glue on there. But see, that's what it's doing. It's pulling that glue out. You see right there, some glue just came out. And along there, too. That's good. <clears throat> okay, so this is going to be the lid. And so I've already put tape on this piece, this piece right here. This was the one that was 3 and 7 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. And of course it'll be the tape side down once I take the tape off. But it's going to go right here and what that's doing is it's creating the, the lid right here. There's a, it creates a little lip so that way on the box it fits right down in well, here, let me get this little box here. It fits right down inside here on the inside, making it where the lid won't come come off. So you can, I mean, it's 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 in there pretty good. <clears throat> okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take. The tape off of this and again I'm not gonna make you watch me do that because you've seen me do it already so I'll get the tape off and I'll be right back 
Okay, so now I got all the tape um, paper off of it. <clears throat> what I am going to do, just so I will have some wiggle time on here, I'm going to put some glue down. I don't really need a whole lot, but I do need some just to give me some wiggle time. Just a little on each one of these strips of tape. Because I've got to get this. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to cover this piece. <laughs> How did I forget to cover the piece? Okay, so let me take this back out. Let's see, is that going to work? Yep, that'll work. It'll be a little tight, but it'll work just fine. Okay. So, I'm going to take and burnish this down. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did just a little bit ago with folding over those edges. Now, it does not matter that that is going to be a super narrow edge because this is going to be glued down to here anyway. So that's not going to matter at all, not even a little bit. Let me get this cut right here. Okay. Do still need to miter these edges. This time I'm going to use my smaller scissors because it's smaller. Um, surface here. But you still have to be careful to make sure you don't get too close to the corner. Like I think I might have done just then. See, this is the kind of thing that happens right here if you um, cut your, your miter a little short. Now, since this is going to be glued down to this, it's not going to matter um, because it's not going to show. Um, but if, you know, if you were doing a book or something, um, that might matter because um, the paper that you lay down like this doesn't come all the way to the edge. At least in most cases it don't. Okay, so let's put a little glue right down in here. Oops, I forgot to fold in those edges. Let me get them folded in. There we go and then fold it over. Get the bone folder and work that glue in. Just like that. Okay, so now I'm going to take and show you exactly what I was talking about. Just kind of glue it down like this. all the way around and then we'll get in the middle. I'm being a little generous on the edge here because I noticed from doing the gray ones that if I'm not generous enough with the glue on the edges it um, it looks kind of splotchy like. I don't know how else to describe that. Just like that and that'll give me that time that I need to make sure I get this centered. Now I'm gonna have to lift this up so I'll try to keep it where y'all can see what I'm doing but basically what I'm doing is I'm looking around all edges <clears throat> excuse me to make sure that that looks pretty even. Yep, and then pressing it down. Press, press, press. Get your bone folder out. You gotta clean up the glue that's seeping out, but that's okay because that's what I wanted it to do. And 
get my little rag here. And I'm just going to wipe right along this edge right here. And I'm going to do that all the way around. Alright, just like that. And then I'm going to bring this over just to make sure that it will fit down in there. Uh-oh. Y'all. Okay, there it goes. And it fits down in there just like that. Alright. Very happy with that. Okay, so now I just wanted to show you. I've already got the... Um, the paper down on here just like um, you saw me do a while ago. Now what I want to do is I want to take this, this is that solid paper, and I want to take this and um, cover this side of it so that I put it here. All you can see is what's going to be right in the middle of the box right here. And the reason why I want to do that, because I don't want the brown to come out along the edges here, because that won't, that won't look right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. Well, first let me try to get it lined up right. I'm going to take this right here on my brown paper. And I'm just going to kind of eyeball that right there. Okay. And then I'm simply going to take my pencil and just go right up against the edge just like that and then I'm gonna cut that out and I'll be right back okay so I've got the the little brown paper measured out now and so now all I'm gonna do is uh, place the glue down gotta clean my tip there we go place the glue down on this and again I'm going to make sure that I get this uh, centered as best as I possibly can and the reason for that is because this is going to sit right oh boy right in the middle with that box on top of it Okay, so I'm just going to lay this down, lift it up so I can see, again, making sure that I've got it fairly even on all sides. But, yep, I think I'm there. I think I got it pretty good, I hope. Try to push that glue out. There we go. Okay. So now, just to show you what this is going to do, it's going to sit right there on top of that, just like that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do to get that done, I'm going to take and glue all along the edges right here very very good don't worry about it if it goes over the side on either side because you can take your fingers that's probably already very gluey by now and wipe that off before you glue it down the idea though is to work kind of quick because art glitter glue again does dry fairly quickly so okay so now let me just go along the edges here on both the inside and the outside just to wipe off any of the excess glue there just like that get my blue rag just make sure I get the excess off my fingers as well 
All right, so now I'm going to take this and just lay it down. Whoops, I got a little bit too much in that corner. There we go. And just lay it down just like that. Now, just look at it all the way around. See, it is crooked, so not real sure how that happened, but we do need to make sure it is as straight as possible. Again, you've only got a couple of minutes to get it, because, or seconds actually, not even minutes, because this art glitter glue does dry pretty quickly. One of the things I'll tell you is the more art glitter glue you put on, the longer it will take for it to really catch and dry. So that's one reason why I do put quite a little bit um, when I'm doing something like this because it, it affords me a little more time. Okay, I think I got her straight. One of the ways I can make sure I got her straight, which is why I did this lid first. Look at there. It is straight, y'all. It is straight. Okay. Well, that's the box. That's it. All I got to do now is put something on top of it and let it dry. And once that happens, I'm going to put that finial right in the middle, just like that. I'm not going to glue it down yet because I want to put something heavy on top of it so it'll dry um, and stay in place. But that's what it's, that's it, guys. That's, that's the whole thing. That's what it's going to look like. Turn it this way so y'all can see. So, yeah. All righty. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Um, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I thank you so much for spending time with me today. And um, I'm glad I got another project in before the end of the year. I wasn't sure if I was going to get to. But I did, y'all. I pulled it off. Thank you so much. And y'all have a very Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. And... God bless.